Mr. Constancio, the Financial Stability Review talks about improved economic prospects. How confident are you that the indicators that this positive trend will, will remain? And to what extent could a slowdown endanger financial stability in Europe? Well, the Euro area is undergoing a uh, phase of uh, good growth which uh, last year was uh, indeed uh, very significant and uh, there has been talk about a slight deceleration of growth which comes from people just looking to the quarterly figures one quarter over the previous quarter and there was a deceleration in the first quarter of this year but if we compare the first quarter of the year against the first quarter of last year the growth rate of the euro area was 2.5 and for the whole year our staff projections uh, indicate a growth rate of 2.4 for 2018 so i would submit that uh, the economy is still on track to uh, materialize the uh, scenario which is the baseline scenario that we have in our projections so we were expecting nevertheless a slight deceleration after the very good year of growth that we had uh, last year so it's not uh, a surprise and we i see no reason to change our baseline scenario just now of course we are attentive to data many things may always happen but so far i would say that growth continues to be good and that supports financial stability uh, as we say in our financial stability review earlier this year there was um, turmoil in u.s stock markets and government yields have been rising this has created turbulence in emerging markets and also there's talk of a trade war how concerned are you about these recent developments and um, in how far does this uncertainty um, impact the euro area financial stability? Well, there is uh, great concern that I share in what regards the potential uh, increase of trade tensions or even a trade war if it would uh, develop uh, as far as that. Let's hope not, because all countries would lose uh, in such a scenario. Uh, but that's a risk that is out there. Also, we mentioned uh, that there are risks of corrections in financial markets, uh, because risk premia uh, and term premia uh, in particular are uh, very uh, low, both uh, in the US and in the Euro area. And indeed, what we saw in February was just uh, an episode of this potential volatility of uh, financial markets uh, coming mostly from the US where certain valuations are somewhat overstretched and indeed what can endanger the uh, continuation of uh, recovery in Europe is some external shock that could derail uh, the development because if something happens uh, coming say from uh, US developments and then with impact in emerging markets then there will be also consequences for uh, the euro area so that's the main risks that we highlight particularly the risks of a, uh, a correction in the bond markets Mr. Constancio, this is the, the last financial stability review under your watch as ECB Vice President. How resilient do you see the financial sector in the years to come? And what do you think, in your view, what do you think the focus of the ECB should be? Well, first let me uh, say that indeed, as you just uh, um, reminded us, it's uh, the last uh, FSR and, uh, my, uh, uh, during my mandate. And uh, uh, let me say that I like very much this last uh, issue of the FSR. I think it reflects very well the high quality uh, of the financial stability department that the ECB has. And uh, that's uh, good. In this uh, issue, there are also some innovations that I like very much, particularly uh, we introduce uh, two new flagship indicators of systemic risk, uh, which I think will be very useful going forward. The financial system in general, as uh, uh, we already uh, spoke about, um, is in 
a uh, improved situation uh, in many respects. But there are vulnerabilities uh, that we uh, also uh, underline in the FSR. Well, regarding the banking sector, there is still a situation of uh, low profitability, uh, which uh, requires many adaptations in business models uh, of, uh, of our banks, and uh, in particular uh, for uh, many of them, the continuation of the reduction of non-performing loans. They did well last year uh, because the banks uh, went even beyond the targets that had been agreed uh, with uh, the ECB bank supervision, but that has to continue and uh, the intensification of supervision will certainly continue to exert pressure in that direction. And that's very important because in terms of uh, capital, the situation is uh, much better than uh, before. Uh, the, uh, common equity capital ratio uh, on average is 14.3. Let me remind you that in 2007 it was just 7%. So this reflects a big improvement in the robustness of the uh, banking sector. But there is uh, indeed the profitability issue, the change in uh, business plans, the improvement in the operational uh, conditions uh, to implement those business plans, uh, uh, taking into account the need to uh, digitalize, to reduce costs, to be attentive to cybersecurity, all that are tasks for the uh, future. The another important segment, growing uh, sector of the financial system is the uh, sector of asset managers and investment funds. There what we see is that there has been an in increase in the maturity mismatch between assets and liabilities, so liquidity risks are building up and that has to be monitored uh, because that could be an amplifier of a potential correction uh, in uh, markets. So that's uh, very uh, important to continue to observe uh, and also to um, propose recommendations as we have done that uh, some uh, um, intense supervision and regulation should also take care of, uh, of those risks. But overall, overall, it's important to highlight that there are in the euro area no general overvaluations in asset markets. There are pockets of uh, some overstretched valuations, something that we will continue to monitor, uh, I'm sure, in future uh, financial uh, st stability reviews. Thank you very much.